collecting. I think I just figured it out. Um, there's a card on one of my decks, or this deck, that says new spiritual gifts are opening up to you. So, I'm assuming that's what it is. I have the ability to see past events. Because I wasn't right. I just told y'all about a dream that I had. It'll be in the reading that's coming out today. I'm recording this after that. So, you probably already been and seen that reading. Well, I was talking about... I was in this house with this writer and it was during the time period of like the 20s or the 30s, okay? And it was like, I never saw my body, but it was like I was seeing it through this woman's eyes. So I feel like it's a gift. I feel like that's what it is. I have the ability to go back to past events, okay? I've already been able to, you know, predict certain things, but I feel like that's a new gift I can go back so maybe some of y'all, if some of you guys are like that, leave it in the comments, okay? So, let's see what's going on. Spirit, we're going to start with this deck. Do I know the spirit ancestors of the highest right now? Allow me to change the energy around my collective, please, and thank you. Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel this energy. If y'all, this upstairs, y'all, okay, just overlook it. They should can. What they doing up there? Yeah. Just breathe. Okay. There's some type of transition going on. And I'm kind of feeling like people are holding on to the nail. All right. Someone's heart and mind is always already in the light. Well, Spirit said always in the light. But there's this darkness right here. I feel like. That's this transition. Things is being switched around. What they say, the meek shall inherit the earth. It's the same as the last should be first, the first shall be last. And I feel like whatever this darkness is, that's getting darkness is that's getting revealed. These people trying to hold on to the nail, child. Okay, some type of community, possibly. But I feel like y'all know elephants are very protective and very intuitive. And I feel like you see Spirit's face right here. Someone's leading and doing it by the book. All right. So whoever this is, I feel like this is happening all over. All right. But this could just be in your personal life. But take how it resonates. This person who's coming in to lead something, they're doing it with their intuition. Look at that. Deep knowing. And they're doing it by the book. Um, and look, there's an 11 on there. And so because of this. This darkness is being, because um, everything is attracted to the light. If you are being the light, you're going to attract like-minded individuals, but you're also going to attract this darkness so that it can. Uh, yesterday, I did a reading, and I said, you were the trap. You had a lot of dark energies coming towards you, trying to do whatever they was trying to do, but you just walked them into the light and what you did, okay? And it could have been with this deep knowing that you had. You see, that was the darkness. Here you are, this, this owl, there's this wisdom of the secrets. But there was something going on behind you. That's this energy here, right? Your heart and mind, this is you. So this darkness right here is this moon that's going on behind you. But I said, you're attracted to like-minded individuals, but you're also going to attract the darkness. So everything that was going on in secret or in the dark is being brought to the light by someone's deep knowing. Okay, so damn. Let's talk about it. Yeah, man, wow. I listen. Change in what? Some type of community? There's some type of change happening. This could be in your community, right? Your family, your friends, or something that was long standing. You see that root? Something that, baby, this was some deep, deep stuff right here. But this change in the wind. Because something was oppressing people who are like this zebra. This zebra stand out, but it's not many of them, is it? So, if you identify with this zebra here, something was oppressing you. This house. Because the 
house. Yeah, something was slowing you down. I never seen that. Do y'all do y'all see that snail right there? I never seen that snail on top on the back of this zebra. So you had a whole house on you with different branches. See all those different branches? So you had this whole house on you and you had this snail trying to slow down this zebra. I feel like because the zebra, maybe the zebra was causing some type of change. Maybe possibly doing something by the book. Hmm. Now, what's about to happen here? Ooh. All right, pay close attention. Do you see that face? That spirit, right? I feel like somebody was trying to put this, this house, all of this stuff on you to cover up this, this spirit. But you still see it. Plain as day. Just like you see it here. That face, plain as day. Just like you see it here. Plain as day. There's something that somebody tried to cover up. But it's something to do with this spirit right here. <coughs> now, with this poise and breathe, that's what I was just getting ready to tell you. This next phase, because like I said, there's a, there's a shift happening. This next phase, you don't have to do anything. Don't this look like a DNA strand? This blue thing right here. It look like a DNA strand. There's something going on. Like maybe you might be getting some type of DNA upgrade. But you don't have to do anything. Just breathe and poise energy. Because I feel like this spirit right here, I have been picking up on this walk-in energy. Almost like a mediumship. Yeah, with this time for a nap, I'm telling you, you don't have to do anything. So maybe your your part is already done. Maybe you already brought something to the light or brought it right there at the door. Something like that, y'all. This next phase with this change in the wind, you don't have to do anything. I don't know how this is going to resonate. Just take it how it resonates, okay? If it don't resonate, don't take it. But um, I normally close out with these, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull some from here. Law of attraction. So each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. At your request, we will gladly attune energies, attune your energies to a higher frequency. All right. So back to what I was saying over here. You are a being of light, but you had to attract this energy. I don't know why. Possibly so something could be done by the book. I don't know. 818 on the phone. You had to attract this darkness. But you also have to attune your energies often. You may find yourself here lately. Maybe you attract a lot of uh, karmic relationships. Karmic situations, right? You can, you can have karmic jobs, karmic friends, karmic relationships. You can live in karmic neighborhoods. You may have found yourself. But this next cycle... That you're getting ready to go, ain't, mm -mm, it ain't nothing karmic about it. It's going to be all like this. Because this last thing that's getting ready to happen, this last change, spirit is doing something. You see this spirit coming forward. It's almost like you see right now their eyes closed. It looks as if they, they've been in a deep sleep. Something is coming forward, y'all. I don't know how to. I'm trying to get it out as best I can. Something is coming forward. It's almost like taking over this woman. Look at that. God, I cannot make this shit up. Do you see that face right there? But she ain't saying nothing. She ain't saying nothing here either. He or she take her resonate. And there it is again. If you got this deck at home, look at it. Spirit's face is right there in this woman's chest. Spirit's face is also right here in this woman's chest. Y'all. Okay, let's read these other two cards that came out. Yeah, listen. Release. 
something's being released. What in the world? All right, so energy work. Some of you may have, okay, so it says your hands and your heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. What was I just saying about uh, Spirit's face being in her chest? It says your hands and your heart. All right, so you look at her hands here. There's stars on her hands, and Spirit is in her chest. So some of you guys may do spiritual work. You don't have to. I just feel like you are being a light. And so you're going to attract this darkness, but it's to cause a change. And, it, and it's going to be done correctly. It's going to be done by the book because this person is led by spirit. But what's happening now, spirit about to take over. So let's see what this is, child. Like, can't nobody say you've done it. People may want to blame you, but if you see it right here, it's almost like a... Because there will be people who want to say it's your fault. But the way she's in this four of, this is like the four of swords, breed and poise. There'll, there'll be people who have eyes on you, 11, 11 on the phone. People will have eyes on you when this said thing happens. So they know, people will know for a fact that you didn't do it. But there's going to be people who want to blame you for it. And I feel like that's why the eyes are on you. See, spirit know everything before shit even happens. Okay, so say for instance, there was about to be a tornado at 12 o'clock and it was going to tear up some businesses on this street, right? And somebody can say, oh, well, you, you caused the tornado. No, there was 100 people on this side of town with their eyes on this person at 12 o'clock. There's people that know you didn't do it, but there's going to be some people that want to blame you for it. Y'all have to take this out resume. And whatever is happening is meant to happen to cause this change in the wind. Because this house, something has been oppressing. It could be a, a group of people. It could be one community oppressing another community. It could be one community oppressing one person. Take it how it resonates, y'all. But there's definitely a shift. So... Something's getting released and it's causing healing through your hands and through your heart to your loved ones and to your clients. But in order for there to be healing, there has to be some type of heart chakra awakening. And the most time we find our heart chakra awakening through some type of pain. So... Whatever this change is, <clears throat> what else, spirit? Archangel Raphael. What else, spirit? What else do we need to see? Archangel Michael. Didn't I say this next thing? We just saw Archangel Raphael, and now we're seeing Archangel Michael. This card says you are working very closely with a with this powerful archangel who's helping to protect and guide you through this situation, through this shift. It's like you were put in place to attract all of this darkness. They could even be trying to hang on to you. This darkness could be trying to hang on to you. Like ride your coattail. So say for instance, you're trying to break up with a person. They just won't leave you alone. Could be a karmic energy. You could be trying to get um, out of a work situation. You can't get out. You could be trying to get out of a contract. You can't get out. It's like they're trying to hang on. But that is happening. So something that could be brought to the light, y'all. I'm trying to tell you now. Because it's like once this dark situation, whatever it was, saw you, it attached to you. People, places, and they attached to me, but it, it had to so that it could be seen. And so for your protection, Archangel Michael is slanted away from you so that you could continue to go free. But then it's seen. This thing, person, place, and thing is going to be seen. Yep. Shield yourself, which is why Archangel Michael's here. I don't know what this darkness is, but baby. And, and they're going to want to, I don't care what you say, they're going to want to blame you for something. 
medium shit. I just saw that. All right. Emotional sensitivity. Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. Spirit. Anything else before we uh, pull out the tarot? Twin flame. So, you could even partner up with someone, right? It says the answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. So, you and this person could both be attracting dark situations to bring them to the light. And some of y'all may work together to illuminate something. This is, whew. So, you know, it can resonate many different ways. Maybe your person's trying to get rid of a karmic that don't want to let go. You could be trying to get rid of a karmic that don't want to let go. I just feel like you need to know you ha you this it had to happen this way. So whatever this is that has that you have attracted, you had to get it so it could be seen. All right, let's pull this hair out. See what in the hell this is. I cannot make it up. Illumination, the sun, some something had something about the damn house. I keep seeing this four ones, and right behind it is the five of swords. The five of swords can be criminal activity, it can be envy, jealousy. It's having a win at all costs. Okay. I feel like this five of swords was hidden behind this house. I don't know why I keep hearing that shit, bro. All I know, the sun is illuminating something about this house because behind this house or inside this house is really the Five of Swords. So this house could have been attracted to you. I just talked about this in my last reading. In this, in the Kipper deck, there's a home and every office building was lit up. Or every room in the house was lit up. And the, the way I was picking it up in the last reading is, is like it was a, a big-ass office building with different offices in it. And there was a light on, the sun, to illuminate this big-ass red flag. There could be something with children or with this little child right here. But this is what's being brought out, this five of swords and energy. So, you know, it could be... Criminal activity going on in this house. I, I, I don't know. This almost looks like one of those. Um, because there's a lot of children in the background. This could be a daycare. This could be a um, orphanage. Uh, group home. See these two people. Representatives. These two people represent this thing. These two here. And they make it look all cheery. But this is what's going on in this house. I don't know. Okay, what else? Could be a child that comes and tells. Maybe you work, okay, you could work in this house. And remember I said they presented themselves or represented themselves to be something stable, solid. Uh, maybe there was a lot of passion there with the wands. This could even be, uh, for some of you, this could be a relationship. You could have married someone who already had kids or dated someone who already had kids. I feel like for those of you who work here or you're dating in this situation, I feel like a child's going to trust you enough to tell you what's really going on. In this in this thing and um they came to you why because you are the light i feel like there's two people experiencing this there's a divine feminine and a divine masculine experiencing this wherever they are in life because they are the light in the situations that they're in they're the light in their relationships they're the light in their neighborhoods they're the light in their jobs to bring out the darkness so if you get a job in this daycare or this group home or whatever this is, 
you gonna either uncover something or find something out, but it's up to you. For some of y'all, it could really be a little child that illuminates this big ass red flag. Either way, it's, it's so that you can bring it to the forefront. Once you bring it to the forefront, that's it. You don't have nothing else to do. Because spirit then comes in and does something probably supernatural, child. I'm trying to tell you, man, like, baby. Look. It could be within a family with this Ten of Pentacles. Look at this child right there. It's something. This is how the old woman is looking in. This could be a relationship that somebody's looking in on. Um, told you. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords with this Five of Swords. Got to be brought out. And so a lot of you had to partner up with this house. However, that is going to resonate. You could literally live in a community. Maybe you find out that the landlord ain't on the up and up. Maybe you work at a, a apartment complex and you find out that the landlord been putting an extra ten dollars on some rent or something. Something you're figuring out. It has to be brought out because I feel like a lot of people have been affected, oppressed. A lot of people or a certain group with this uh, zebra could be a certain group of people or a certain type of person have been oppressed. By what? By this damn house right here, y'all. Now, it's just the truth of it. Tower. This is divine intervention. Because like I said, once you get to that part where... And so what does it look like when I say um, you had to attract this? People could be like, oh yeah, this person, this is an easy target. They could say it like that. Or, yeah, we, we need to partner up with this person because they can make our business look good. Or, I need to get into a relationship with this person. I could use them for that. Somebody feel like you're easy, but you're really the trap. You are the trap. I don't know how else to say it. You are of the light. Your heart and your mind. Spirit said at the beginning, it was always of the light. I don't care what you've done in your physical, your heart and your mind, your intentions and your mind, your wisdom has always been of the light. So you may find yourself in these dark ass places. You may have been someone who was addicted to drugs. You may have been someone who was on the corner, homeless. You may have been someone who was a prostitute. You will find yourself in these dark ass situations. But spirit say your heart and your mind has always been of the light. And that is what the most high looks at. The heart and the mind, okay? So you can have people who just, oh no, you used to be this and you used to be that. With this tower, something was divinely orchestrated. I need y'all to start looking at things from a higher perspective, okay? So this tower here, I'm trying, it's going to be hard work. Look at this shit. But you are breaking, listen, damn it. You bringing justice and judgment to this house. With the ten of wands and the tower. It's hard work. Some of y'all, it's hard for you to go into work every day. Or it's hard for you to continue to go into this situation every day. Why? Because now you have figured it out. Maybe you worked, you started at this job and you thought everything was cool. And now you get in the job and you realize how different you are from what was represented to you. What was presented to you. You thought you were going to be in alignment. Right? And then you get there and you see this is who you are and this is who you work for. This is who you are and this is who you're married to. Something like that. But it had to happen. For you to bring justice, judgment and justice to the house. Look at what's repeating itself. Because remember I said the house is hiding the five of swords and the seven of swords. So, you get in this house, whatever it is, to bring justice and judgment. I cannot make it up by the book. It's going gonna, it's gonna to heal something. For some of you, it's on a small level. For others of you, this could be... Huge. You got a whole community right here. Okay, so what I'm getting with the Queen of Wands is you're going to have to have confidence to do, yes, work. Because right behind this work, again, five swords. Didn't I say there was a divine masculine and a divine feminine going through this? Okay, here's divine feminine. Could have the card say, twin flame. The answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. All right. 
there's divine feminine. I feel like she's going through this wherever she is. All right. And so is the masculine. And it may be hard. And at some point, these two may have to partner up because we're also moving towards that collaborations, community type of living. But the old communities, okay, this old deep rooted stuff has to come down. As you see people flying away, it's breaking apart. It has to come down so that new communities can be built, built of like-minded individuals. And this is not going to happen overnight. No, that's it's the shift all over. This is the, the new age Aquarius moving towards love, peace, and harmony, getting rid of this dark ass energy, the seven of swords, five of swords. And so wherever you are, the twin flames are part of the great awakening. Okay. And so wherever they are, they're going to bring light, but they're going to go through some shit. Ten of wands. Absolutely. That's this person not wanting to go to what? That house. Whatever that house is representing, that's this person. It's like, it's hard. You could live in a community. This house could be symbolic for your community. It's hard for you to go home. You feel like once you go home, it's burdensome. This house could be your job. You feel like when you go, because you see the house way back there? You, you feel like when, when you go to work, it's burdensome. Why? Because you bring bringing all that damn darkness out. And so what Spirit is saying with the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands, you're going to have to have confidence. Also, you're going to be using, because the Queen of Wands is looked at as being very mysterious. Um, you can even get it confused with being witchy, but it's not. It's because this person's very intuitive. Very intuitive energy. There's a lot of powerful, look at them two lions sitting beside this Queen of Wands, man or woman. This black cat is just representing, first of all, protection and the intuitiveness, right? With this deep knowing here. You're going to have to have your confidence, all right? And this Ace of Wands, this is a brand new beginning, but a lot of you will get some type of passionate idea as to what to do with this information that you have. Because look at this, Five of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, this is going on at work. It's going to be illuminated. You got this look, high priestess. The high, the most high God reveals its secret to the high priestess. And so, whatever is going on, some of you may, you may stumble upon this information while you're at the place, or you may get a download. No matter how it comes through, it's coming through. Tower. Um, but remember I said, because with the poison and the breed, it's a certain point in here that you're done. There's nothing else for you to do. It's almost as if wherever you go, this darkness is going to follow you. But remember, I said there's a hundred people over here that's got their eyes on you. That is being done on purpose because the spirit is about to come through and make some type of change. And, and you don't need to get blamed for this. Something could be happening while you are asleep. It's going to be impossible because I'm strongly picking up. People are going to want to blame you for whatever this change. It's about to be a tower. That's the change in the wind, right? But y'all know towers are divine. It's anything that's not built on a solid foundation, it comes tumbling down. Well, whatever it is, it's not solid. Seven of swords is stealing. It's deception. The five of swords, like I said, it could be criminal activity. It could be envy. But this house was built on the seven of swords, five of swords. All right? The tower, anything not built on a solid foundation comes tumbling down. So something could be happening while you are asleep. Um... It's going to be like, it's impossible. This person did not have anything to do with whatever this was. And, and it is causing a tower, but it's bringing justice and judgment to this house. Spirit. I, I was going to say, what is it going to be? Yeah, people are going to be mad about this. I can't make it up. You can even have people looking for you, child. Not a sword with the three of wands. Trying to say it, I'm, that's, I'm strongly picking it up, yep. Look at that, Knight of Swords, Three of Ones, and Eight of Cups. Looking for you, looking for you, looking for you. Why? That's crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, Four of Cups. You are protected. That's why you got Archangel Michael right here. Working very closely with a powerful archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this. Yep, there's the fool. 
That's the hundred eyes, page of swords. Wherever you go, those eyes are on you. Because while these eyes are watching you, the divine is taking care of something else in the background. Now, the Most High God may use a person, place, a thing to create this change. But you had to bring it to the light. It's because that was attracted to you. This dark energy, hmm, that look like an easy person I can use. Let me get into a relationship with them. That look like an easy person who will uh, be the front of my business and I can do whatever I want to do in the background. Let me hire them. That look like, you know, like I say, you was the light. So people are going to be like, man, if, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have got caught. Or if it weren't for you, I could have kept on doing this, blah, 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 blah. People going to try to blame you, but it's... And I feel like these eyes, I don't know why I'm getting reputable. People with good reputations, this is what I'm getting. So when these people say something, they believe it. So when these people say, oh, this um, twin, because you could be the man or the woman. When they say this twin was at the bank at 12 o'clock. People are going to believe this person. Because for some of you, somebody might have to get on the stand. Something may cause a court case. But these, these eyes that the divine has placed on you, 3111 on the phone, are reputable people. Something is going to be sealed. Something is going to be solid. Because there's too much deception. Too many lies been told with this five of swords. There could really have been some criminal activity. For some of y'all, it's going to be a court case. And so you're going to have someone on your behalf that you don't even know about. You don't know about these people. A lot of you don't even know these people watching you. But Spirit is saying that they have good reputations. They're reputable people. So for somebody here, this person and all people may have to say where you was. Because somebody's going to try to say it was your fault. It's going to cause you to go free. Something like that, y'all. Let's pull the kip and see what the hell this is. Some of y'all might have a whole family, a whole group of people say it was your fault. But these reputable people say, no. Uh, the collective was at the bank. Matter of fact, uh, here's a receipt. Here's the camera. This is what I was doing. This is what they was doing. Oh, and I also was on the phone watching this at that time. And this is what was playing. If this person is very reputable. That's all I'm getting. Okay? Now, could remember I said somebody going to try to say it was your fault. For somebody, it could have been a setup. Seven of swords, five of swords. Because the five of swords is criminal activity. But it's coming from jealousy with this green right here. But this seven of swords, you see all that yellow around it? That is, it's, it's getting illuminated. Whatever this was that was going on, it's getting illuminated. Let's pull these kippers, cause damn. This is crazy, man. They put that community again. Get the fuck, get the fuck. Official person, community, but this official person is in the reverse. So official person could just mean someone's official person like your girlfriend your boyfriend your wife your husband or the official person so say for instance if you had a job at an apartment complex who would the official person be probably would be the manager right this person's in reverse <laughs> despair some despair not hiring 32 breaking down to a five. Five represents change. What did that card say? A change in the wind. Somebody here is trying to say it's your fault that you did something or something like that. But these reputable people, reputable people are like, nope, the collective was here. You know what I'm getting? I never picked this up before. This page of swords, normally the page of swords, the page is like a student energy, right? It is a, a watching and gathering of information, stalking almost. But that, that's that stalking I'm getting, that's the eyes on you. But this is what I just heard. This page of swords is about to get this person's position. I don't know what in the fuck is going on. 
This page is, whether they know it or not, whoever this page is towards, they're about to have a job promotion. This is a big promotion. This is a huge promotion. This, it, yeah, it's false person. Mm. Can't get it out fast enough. Could be a mature man. I'm not sure. But you got despair. That's the not hiring, false person, mature man. So this eight talks about entrapment. Remember I said somebody was going to try to say it with your fault. This 32 breaks down to a five. Five represents change. There is also a five on this mature man. So, you know, I don't know what the fuck is going on. But baby, that falseness, that's the seven of swords, five of swords. This page is about to get a huge... Listen, if, if it's not a promotion, it could be an award or... Uh, make 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 the news or something big about to happen with whoever this page is. Yeah, and for some of you, <coughs> for somebody here, this page could be the divine counterpart to the Empress, cause Twin Flame is about work. Life purpose type stuff. That's when most of these twin flames come together. Life purpose. It does involve a spiritually based romantic relationship. Okay? But it's, it's about work. Oh my goodness. So for y'all. So yeah. For some of you. This page of swords is the divine masculine. To this divine family. That's for some. But whoever this is. This page of swords is about to get this person job. Like, what the fuck? So, okay. Let's do it like this. So, say for instance, you work in an apartment complex and you realize that the damn landlord is not on the up and up. And this person could just be someone in the community who lives there. But this person is reputable. They pay the bills on time. They ain't out here scheming and, not, and, and plotting or none of that. This person could just be, they could go from just being a regular ass person sent to look at something to becoming the damn landlord. Okay, that's a big jump. But it's because of their loyalty and, and their integrity and their truthfulness about this page of swords right here. Because I was getting reputable. Because somebody going to try to say, I'm telling you, it's here. I see it. But they're going to lose their job for that. Let's keep going. And so there's the partnership right there. Courtship. Right there. I've never seen a page the way that I'm seeing it today. Yep, these two people revealing this. That's the seven of swords. Mm, mm, mm. Courthouse, because I just got through telling y'all. For some of y'all, see, you not y'all don't listen when I be talking. I just said people was gonna say that it was your fault. Okay. But these this page of swords that's on your ass is reputable. So you may be annoyed with whoever this is that's always watching you. Some of you don't even know that this person is always watching you. But spirit does. This has all been divinely orchestrated. Hello? There's a card in one of my decks that says blessing in disguise. This has all been divinely orchestrated. Because this page of swords may really have to get on the stand with courthouse. And say, nope, the collective was at the bank at 12. Impossible. They didn't do whatever this official person or community or whatever this was said it did. What else, spirit? Whew. Good God Almighty. And that landed on top of the sun. Once this right here is revealed, baby, it's causing chaos and conflict. I say somebody won't be mad. And they won't take it out on you, but it's not your fault. This person will find themselves and lost a job and lost something. They're going to want to blame you. But the truth of the matter is, you know, people don't want to look at themselves and say, damn, I, I shouldn't have been doing this. I shouldn't have said that. Because there's some lies here. Seven of swords, five of swords. And for some of y'all, some type of criminal activity goes on. This official person is in the reverse. 
that would give some corruption too. Whatever this is. They won't say it's your fault, but it's not. Knight of Pentacles. And listen. That's the Page of Swords. The real emperor. The real emperor is the Page of Swords, y'all. Could be a king of wands. Y'all gonna collaborate. Could be now, but that's who this is. Because whatever's going on is some fuckery. It's some fuckery. Just know that everything's been divided, orchestrated, and whatever's happening is being done by the book, and it's going to bring justice and judgment to this house. I don't know what this house represents. But with the four ones, th these four ones represent stability. Something has been run by this for a long time. As the uh, on that community card, when you see that tree trunk, but it's all broken, it's torn, it's withered, something's outdated, hasn't been changed, hasn't been updated, hasn't been looked at, hasn't been nothing. Okay? Shit, you can't even get in unless you talk to this person. You can't get in now. I don't know what the fuck this is. I really don't, okay? But I knew it. I told y'all that's who the page source was, the real divine masculine. And they they about to get this person's position. This official person in the reverse, this real divine mask about to get this energy's position. They they probably don't even know that. They just don't they told to do page of swords. And the, and and right now they're the page of swords to this empress is in the full energy. And so this masculine is page of swords in this empress. You're the fool right now. If you're the empress, you're the fool right now. Hell, for some of you, because the fool is about taking a leap of faith. It's also this sun right here illuminating something with this little bag. Some of you have just what you need. My hair's on fire. And I feel like you're being led by your intuition. Anyway, um, this damn emperor, he could be over a group. That's what I was also getting. I never seen this page of swords the way I'm seeing it today. This official person is over a community. This emperor is over a community. Now, this emperor is in the upright. This is an upright individual. Right? And so the people that follow this, because all the little birds are symbolic to people. And this emperor is holding the sword of truth. And we all know the sword of truth cuts through clarity, confusion, and deception. This emperor in the reverse, man or woman, they have a community behind them too, but they're in the reverse. So they're going to be leading this community in the reverse. Something is here to be done by the book. This emperor is doing it by the book. And they also have eyes on the damn em uh, empress. Because for some of y'all, this person got to get in court and say, no, the empress was at the bank at 12 o'clock. Impossible. And everybody knows this person is reputable. So y'all take something that if there's a change, major change, but it's being done by the book. And people's trying to say it was the cause of the, the tower coming down. There is an apology coming for some of you. This is a public apology. I've been picking this up for months. Okay, tarot, there's no time frame. Time is it, it, fluid. Energy is fluid. So, what I'm picking up on may not happen for another year. Could be two weeks. Could be tomorrow. You know, time is man-made, but we're not even going to go there. Okay, so, uh, take our resume. And everybody works through the energies differently. For some of you, this already happened. For others, it could be currently going on, but either way, this change is coming through. All right, for those of you where there's a court case, there may be some type of compensation out of this with the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Anything else, Spirit? Thank you. There it is again. It came out again. Page of Cups. This is an apology. And there's a camera. 
Yeah, they've been dot. That's a camera on this person's head. So this reminds me of like a body cam. And I do see this is a uniform, blue and yellow. So some of you guys have been with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but with the whole body cam and the uniform, this could be an officer apologizing to someone. Or this could just be a regular ass person. I don't know. Um, that's what's going on. Let me just grab some of these for this energy right here. Spirit. What's going on? Tell me what they do. Oh, somebody hate men. Hell, this official person in reverse could be a woman. You, you never know, child. What else, spirit? Thank you. Divorce. Um, so this divorce is just a breaking of a contract, okay? So it says someone got fired. It is right there. For others of you, um, no business deals. It's, uh, but I'm picking up somebody got fired because I already said it right here. This, the cost is not hiring. Despair. So maybe this person gets fired, they start blaming you. And they tell their whole community that it's your fault. This official person that was in the reverse, this community behind them, this could be their family, or this could be people that work under them, take a high resume. They're going, so if there was a divorce that happened, this person that's in the reverse, they're going to tell everybody, oh, it was the Empress's fault that um, I got a divorce and get this whole community mad at this Empress. If this was a boss, they're in the reverse, okay? They're not going to own up to what they were doing. They want to project and say it was somebody else's fault. But I'm just really picking up for most of y'all. Someone is getting fired or got fired. Because I already said that this Page of Swords, which is the real emperor, is going to get some type of promotion at work. They don't know that, though. But they are. Because they are an upright. They do things by the book. They got integrity. There is no um, bribery or nothing like that. So you have inheritance. This is the passing on material property from one generation to another. This could be money, business, land, whatever. And look at this. Some of y'all have a clear. What was I talking about at the very beginning of my reading? A different gift that was opening up. Me having the ability to go back. Now, this says clear smelling. So, being able to smell odors that don't have any kind of physical source. I've been there multiple times. Where it feel like somebody took some cologne or perfume and just sprayed it right there in your face. But ain't nobody in the room. There's nothing to explain that. That's a clear. It's a spiritual gift. Okay. What else, spirit? All right. So, ooh, they use your internet. Could be this official person in the reverse. Someone could be doing sex bells. They have keys to your home, your car, and your mailbox. Oh God. And they've been inside your home. And some of you guys are dealing with a misogyny. So, damn, look at this shit, how this came out. So, what I'm getting, your, your divine masculine could be dealing with someone who hates men. Divine feminine could be dealing with someone who hates women. Because we're, we're, we're talking about a twin flame. I said there's two people experiencing similar things. So how you, this is a misogynist. How you say this, misandry? Something like that. Either way, they hate women. I mean, they hate men, and this one hate women. And I feel like that's this twin flame having to deal with that shit. And so these two energies are being brought to the forefront. So these two energies could be trying to blame people for what the fuck is going on. Listen! They got fired for abusing their fucking power. That's this official person in the damn reverse. And so whoever the fuck this is, is getting this promotion. This is a big-ass promotion. And it's because this person, they got integrity. They do things the right way. By the book. By the book. Here's another Claire. Look at that. Yep, clairvoyance power. Would you look at that? Claire Cynthia. So clear feeling. Feeling a person or a spirit's emotions or feeling another's physical pain. Wow, what the fuck? So that clarified everything. That's why this official person came up in the reverse. That is someone who uh, abuses power. 
and they did, they had, I feel like they had a community behind them, or th this could be them telling their family and friends that it's your fault. Because somebody's in despair and will be taking her resume. And so that's why Archangel Michael's here to protect you from the backlash of this official person and community. Abusing the power, man. This is crazy. This is crazy, bro. What's this spirit? It will always fail. What will always fail? Somebody hates to see you cry. I'm trying to figure out what will always. Oh, 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 that was a lot. All right, some of y'all are psychic, just period. Or you have psychic powers, okay? Some of you have a parent who is a supporter. Some type of experiment in here. Some of you may have a, a wealthy person who loves you. This shit is crazy. I feel like I got enough, because this... Thank you, Spirit. Your dreams are the truth. Believe them. Because I didn't know what the fuck was going on with that dream I had earlier in that reading that I told y'all about. But then when I got ready to do this reading, which those readings were probably 30, 40 minutes apart, I figured it out. I don't feel like it was me living in those past experiences or living in a past life. I just feel like I had the ability to go back. You know what I mean? Um, and see things through the eyes of those people. So, wow. That's this clairvoyant power. Anything else? Do we need to see anything else? Here? They're losing everything for messing with you, for abusing their power. They're losing everything. That's this person in despair. And some of these jobs that you get fired from, you can't never go back. Like, it's downhill from there. This person has a dog and a, a crate. They're sitting on a crate, and they're outside of the unemployment line. But they had some type of power, powerful position or something, because Spirit said they was abusing their power. I wonder what they was doing. Oh, that was um, them oppressing you. Right? Put the snail on you, slowing you down, oppressing you, uh, putting a lot of burdens on you, making it really hard for you to do something, child. What's back here? I told you. I opened up with this. More spiritual gifts are opening up to you. At the beginning of my reading, this is what I was talking about. And it could be because of what's going on. Maybe you'll figure out how to use them and help people. I keep telling y'all, I want to be a uh, a psychic investigator. I want to help people solve crimes, give people their closure. However, child, because what's the point in having this and not being able to use it? You see, what's the point in having clairvoyant powers and not being able to use them? And I want to use these spiritual gifts that's opening up, more spiritual gifts. I want to use them to help folks. So, wow. This was some shit for your ass. So, you need to know your, your divine counterpart going through. For some, for most of y'all, this is your divine counterpart that was sent to watch something. So, you may not have met this person yet. But for others of you who know who your divine counterpart is, they somewhere in the world going through this shit with somebody too. Because they got to bring something to the light. Darkness attaches to the light beings. And then that's how that shit is brought out. what I have for y'all today. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Both of them are going to try to close out with an angel message. Mm, mm, mm. Spirit, what does the collective need to see? Thank you. Books. So I've also been picking up on somebody might want to write about this. And you never know. A lot of times when people write books, books turn into movies, child. So anyway, it says your life purpose involves writing. Excuse me, reading, editing, or selling spiritually based books. 
Shit, the two of y'all might write together. I don't know. And uh, vacuum away the fear. Call on Archangel Michael and Raphael. What was I saying about that Queen of Wands? You got to have the confidence and the courage to continue to move forward. Because somebody trying to make life hard as fuck with the Ten of Wands. That's them trying to oppress you. That is also them abusing their power. All right. Call on Archangels Michael and Raphael to lift the fear-based energy from you, your surroundings, the situation, and everybody involved. I told you, have confidence. But this card says moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough. Because I said you're going to get to a certain point where you don't have to do nothing. Poise, just be poised, right? And then the most high God is going to put this person on your ass. This could be security. This could be you uh, being with a friend. Somebody got eyes on you, but it was divinely orchestrated. Why? Because this energy is either trying to hurt you because they say something your fault, or they're trying to like really blame you for something, frame you for something, something like that, child. Yep, you're an indigo, and you got listen, ascended masters. The person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive, natural born leader, right? Then you got powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. You're already being guided uh, by Archangel Michael, and then you got these powerful ascended masters, child, please. Thank you, spirit. Somebody's in protection. I get that all the time, right there. Okay, cancel, clear, and delete, and then you got a shower of abundance. So Spirit says use only positive words and thoughts as they are rapidly manifesting into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. Because with this ten of wands, and they're not telling what the fuck this group is doing or this person is doing. They're in the reverse, so they could have been doing a lot. They could have been trying to place you under fear, all kind of shit. Spirit said, uh, uh, get rid of that. Cause Spirit handling something. But I, you look, it's already handled. That's what the spirit is saying. So I don't know where you guys are in the timeline. The spirit says something's already handled. So you just got to be poised. Just breathe. Just breathe. Yep. God is at the bottom of the deck. Huh? You express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. Bottom of the bed. Whoever this master, this 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 emperor don't have. It could be a woman, but they about to get. I feel like it's your divine counterpart. They about to get a big ass promotion or some child. Look, options. Many opportunities are becoming available to you. Do not get stuck in doubt when an offer presents itself. Seize the moment. Some of you may, your career may be in law, such as police, military, courts, or criminal justice, okay? Then you got this. When this car come out, I tell you, this person is, they're very good at what to do. Some of them could be world renowned. They could want to work with you, right? Con uh, consider careers in counseling, psychic work, or energy healing may appeal to you. And then spirituality again. Maybe some of you guys are like in spirituality right now. You could be up for field. Or uh, Cahill on this card to say, you may be called to become a spiritual advisor. When I get spiritual advisor with the justice, that's psychic investigative type stuff. Right? Look, you may be called to become a spiritual advisor or a healer. The justice system, when they go to psychics, that's just they, what they're getting. Advised by someone who can talk to the spirits. So when you put the spirituality right next to uh, your career, maybe in law, such as police, military, courts, or criminal justice, to me, that's psychic investigating. And then this card right here, I feel like this person could be one of them, but they could be real good at what to do type shit. For some of you, this is a judge, the way they got on the, the, the black, what they call the robes. And that white up under it, this person could be a judge. 
I don't know. Somebody is, yeah, get the five of swords. Others could be envying your success. I don't know. It don't even matter, child. Gift. You have natural talents, gifts, and abilities waiting to be discovered. So that other woman I just showed you that could be a man or woman, whoever this is, they feel like you got other talents waiting to be discovered. Like I just figured out that I could go to the back. I went back to that. That was either the 20s or the damn 30s. And that ain't the first time, okay? Because when I was little, I used to have this reoccurring dream. Uh, Y'all remember the, little, the show, The Little House on the Prairie? I had on one of them type of dresses. And I just, it wasn't no paved roads. I was kicking this. And I knew it was in the south because the dirt was red, like red clay. And I was just kicking this down. It looked like a can, one of them old timer cans, up and down the road, child. It seemed as if that's my that was my toy, because it wasn't shit out there. And I had every recurring dream over and over for years. For years. Okay. So anyway, I'm I'm feeling like that's what's going on. Other gifts is opening up. Right. So, yeah, you have assisted in this change. And people is upset, but they'll be okay. All right? I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Both of them. I feel like somebody's asking, can your twin be of the same sex? Yes. Yes, they can. Okay? Because this is a spiritually based relationship. You might show up whoever this lifetime, but the soul, I feel like the soul remains the same. So you dealing with a spiritually based, yes, it could be two men, it could be two women. It's just two like-minded individuals that been knowing each other for a long, 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 long time. This is just the meat suit. Okay? This is just the meat suit. It ain't going to be here always. The soul will. But that's for another conversation. I just feel like I had Somebody asked it. All right. Till next time. Bye.